Good morning, sixth grade students. We're going to go ahead and start with our ecology organization. Um, today, our goal is really simple. You need to be able to use and know the terms organism, population, community, and ecosystem. So by the end of the lesson, let's make sure we can do that. And then you will be showing that you know that by completing a writing assignment um, in Canvas. All right, so what exactly is ecology? Well, to break it down as simple as we can, ecology is the study of animals, plants, and the environment and how those things interact with one another. So when I look over here, I've got a tree. It's also interacting with the soil, the air, and then the hydrosphere, which would be the water that helps it grow. We know a couple things. We know that a food chain is a path of energy that flows in a given area, so in a given spot. And in this food chain, we go from leaf to caterpillar to chameleon to snake to mongoose. The arrows, as you should remember, show the direction of the energy. So the leaf's energy is going to the caterpillar. The caterpillar's energy is going to the chameleon. Chameleon's energy goes to the snake, and snake's energy goes to the mongoose. You should remember that only about 10% of that energy will go from one organism to the next, and then 10%, and then 10%, and then 10%. So by the time the mongoose gets the energy, he gets very little of the amount of energy that was originally given by the sun to that first set of leaves. All right, so here we go. Um, we also know about food webs. A food web is multiple food chains in a given area. So here is a food web of the Chesapeake Bay water bird um, food web. And we start out with some vegetation, either on land or in the water. We go to ducks and bivalves. We go up to swans and sea ducks. And eventually we get to eagles and osprey. Again, as you remember, arrows show the direction of the energy. We do not have the osprey giving its energy to the large Piscivorous fish. We have the Piscivorous fish giving its energy to the osprey. Levels of organization in areas. So there are just a few. The first one is organism. An organism is one living thing. We can have one plant. We can have one animal. Or we could have one fungus, in this case a mushroom. All right, we're going to watch a quick tutorial, um, just a little video that should give us a little bit of information. And here we go. Nope. Evidently, I clicked on the wrong thing. Here we go. And what do you, and what do you get? An individual. An organism, like you, or this platypus. He's got organ systems too. Now, if you have a lot of platypus together, what's the plural of platypus? According to dictionary.com, you can say platypi, which sounds especially fancy. And you have a population. This population of platypi can breed with each other. And they're all the same species. It's a platypi population. Great YouTube channel name right there. But include other populations, such as fish, algae, and plants, along with the platypi, and now you have a community. A community includes many populations, but it does not include abiotic factors. Abiotic factors are factors that are non-living, like rocks. Abiotic factors are not considered in the community level, just biotic factors. Biotic factors, on the other hand, are living. When abiotic factors are considered, such as the rocks, the temperature of this environment, the water, and the biotic factors, such as all the organisms we mentioned before, we now have an ecosystem. Well, it turns out that many ecosystems can be found in different regions on the globe. If talking about this collectively, you are at the level of biome. All right, so there was a little short video, and that's kind of what we're going through today as we go through slideshows. All right, so organism review. What is an organism? I'm going to give you a few seconds to think.
An organism is a single living thing. So, think to yourself, name three different organisms. Whale would be an organism, a giraffe is an organism, grass is an organism, or a tomato plant. Those would all individually be an organism, each and every single thing. Alright, so what exactly is a population? Well, if you look at the picture over there, you should be able to tell we're talking about a group of organisms. So a population is the same type of plant or the same type of animal living in the same place at the same time. So we see a herd of cows and some of them are kind of taking a break. Technically, these animals or plants need to be able to breed or reproduce in order to be considered a population, which would make them a single species. So here we go. A population is all the same type or a plant or animal living in the same place at the same time. And all of the same species is considered a population. So we have a population or a group of lions. And for those of you who care, a group of lions is called a pride. All right, so review. Does this show an organism or a population? Well, Yes, it shows an organism. You can only see one zebra, meaning it's an organism. This picture, does it show an organism or a population? Yes, it shows a population. There are several zebras in the picture, which means it is a population. There we go. We got a whole slew of apple trees which means it's a population. We have multiple apple trees, and that tells us that it's not just one single tree. Does this show an organism or a population? I don't know about you, but that giraffe seems to be giving me the evil eye. Anyway, it's an organism. We can only see one giraffe, which tells us it is not a population. A population has to be two or more of the same species. So what exactly is a community? That's that third word on our list that we need to know. So a community is a group of populations in a single area. So we've got a group of zebra here, and we have at least one impala. I'm going to assume there's some impala kind of hanging out over here. I assume over here in this termite mound there are numerous termites living and we might even have some hippopotamus that are living down here in this water. Um, it would not be unheard of for there to be some crocodiles in that water as well. So a community is the plants and animals and other organisms that are living in a given space. So it's just all the populations in a single area. So here we have a community. We have multiple types of fish. They cannot breed together, um, which tells us we have multiple populations. All right, so here we also have a community. We've got the red macaw. We have trees. We have different types of ferns. Um, and that tells us it's a community. It's more than one species in the same area. All right, so here's our review. Does this show an organism, a population, or a community? It shows us a population. The only thing we see is two minions, and minions belong to the same species, assuming they're actually real, which they're not. But anyway, they make me laugh. We've got... Does this show an organism, a population, or a community? Your answer should be an organism. There's only one dory here, and it's technically a blue tang. All right, so we check out the picture. Does this show an organism, a population, or a community? Well, it's a community. We've got... We've got some trees, we got some grass, we got some 
teenage humans back here that look a little bit mortified. Let's be honest, look at that face. She's not super excited to be there. And then we have some Smurfs. All right, here we go. Does it show an organism, a population, or a community? Community. We've got a guy with a weird looking face. We've got a dog. We've got trees in the background. We've got grass. All right, so if we look at this picture and we ignore the grass, do we have an organism, a population, or a community? We have a population. We would just have these four organisms, which are the same type. They are technically prairie dogs. All right, so what exactly is an ecosystem? Well, it's not a ton different than what we've already gone through. Ecosystem is the communities in an area plus the non-living things such as air, water, soil that interact. So here we go. We've got the mountains back here in the background. We have lots of evergreen trees. We have an evergreen tree here too. We have some reed grass. We have some rocks. We have all the water and we will assume that there are some living things inside this water. So that would make it an ecosystem. So a real simple equation, community plus the non-living things equals an ecosystem. So we've got all the living things plus the non-living things equals an ecosystem. All right, so here we go. We've got another ecosystem. We've got cows, lots and lots of cows. I'm gonna assume there's some small fish, possibly some frogs swimming around or hopping around here in the water. We've got grass, we've also got mud, we have the water itself, which gets us to the non-living things, and this would be considered an ecosystem, plus all the trees. All right, so we've got a community plus non-living things equals an ecosystem. So we've got an alligator, he's taking a little break, hanging out, sunbathing, and we've got reed grass in the back, we have actual water, and I see some mud, so we've got Community would be our alligator, our tree, our reed grass, and possibly fish if they're swimming around in here. Our non-living things would be the water and our sunlight. We would also have the air in the atmosphere and the mud. Those would be our non-living things, and that gets us to an ecosystem. All right, so we got practice. Looking at this picture, is it an organism, a population, community, or ecosystem? Look at all of the things that are in the picture. Well, I definitely know that it's an ecosystem. So I've got multiple types of trees that I see. I've got shrubs. I've got water. I've got soil that's underneath this grass and the actual grass and the shrubs. And probably some fish that are um, swimming around here in the water. So that would tell me ecosystem. All right, you're telling me, Mr. Lane, why are you taking a picture of Disney World? Um, well, let's just focus on the characters. So if I'm just looking right here, we've got an organism, a population, a community, or an ecosystem. Well, we would have a community. Well, why? You should notice that there's a dog, some mice, and a duck. Organism, population, community, or ecosystem. So look at the picture. I only see one thing, which tells me it's a single organism. We've got a spider, and that's pretty much it. All right, saving the best for last. Organism, population, community, or ecosystem. You should have said population. We have one type of plant, and I know. This one is a little corny. And that is the end of our presentation. You are going to go ahead and um, go back into Canvas and submit your writing, find a picture. Directions are in the assignment.